Hi, I'm Dominic Stevens, here to chat about all things economics. This week we'll pre preview next week's GDP data, we'll talk about consumer confidence, and we'll give a rundown on what's going on in the housing market. Now next week, Statistics New Zealand come out with GDP data that show the state of the New Zealand economy through the third quarter of 2010. Now to us it looks as though growth was very slow, a low positive number like 0.3%, which is disappointing and well below trend. Now there's a couple of one-offs, there's uh, manufacturing industries in outright decline and so is residential construction, they had terrible time through the middle of the year. But probably the more persistent feature of the, this recovery has been slow growth in the service industries, things like education, health, finance, insurance. They've been experiencing very, very slow growth. Now one factor is that the government is cutting back where it can and that's quite noticeable in health. But I think the deeper thing going on here is a lack of domestic expenditure, low confidence if you like. In particular, consumers are quite reluctant to get out there and spend. Now we had a poignant reminder of that today with the Westpac McDermott Miller Consumer Confidence Index, which tumbled another five points to 108 and now sits well below average. Now to some extent that was a bit of reality biting in the, the post-earthquake environment in Canterbury. There was a big decline in confidence there. But around the nation, I think that there's a bit of reality biting in the post-recession environment. So consumers are expressing a bit of disappointment with the state of their current finances. Now, why is that? Well, I think that probably the main reason, two-thirds of consumers own houses and house prices are falling. They've been falling throughout 2010. There's a bit of interest developing there in some of the housing data. Now things were weak as of September, but in October there was another large fall in sales, another 10%, and it really looked as though the housing market was moving to another extraordinarily weak position. That was the last snapshot the Reserve Bank had before it came out with its monetary policy statement. So the Reserve Bank, understandably, observed that and figured that things were getting weaker and the OCR didn't need to go up very rapidly. Last week we had new data from the Real Estate Institute that showed that the October decline was a bit of a head fake. So sales rose another 10%, prices were up 1.9% and actually the number of days it took to sell a house fell. It really looks to me as though the housing market is stabilising, much like we foreshadowed about four weeks ago in our first video. So migration's up, interest rates are down, housing market stabilising. We expect that that will flow through to a little bit better consumer confidence in 2011 and a little bit better consumer spending. All up, we do think 2011 will be a much better year than 2010. Hey, I'm on holiday through January. I hope you have a good holiday as well. All the best for the festive season and we'll talk to you next year.